Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a form in Microsoft Access 2016. Now, whenever I open Access and if I go to the Create tab, under the Create tab, when I go to the Form Design, you can see there are so many options to create a form. Microsoft Access also gives you an opportunity to create a form right from the scratch if I use the form wizard tab. Out there you can see there are so many options. I can create a form right from a blank form, a normal form. You can also change the design of a form if you go under the forms group under the create tab. Also, it is also giving you an option to create a form from the table or a query which is already there. So, not necessary that we have to create a form right from the scratch. By using the existing table or by using the existing query, Microsoft Access automatically creates a form of your own design. Now, you must be thinking what is form and why it is used for. Now, forms is used to enter a record in a database in a table. So, what, how it is different from using the normal table and why we use form, we'll have a better understanding of this in our practical approach. So, let's begin. In order to create a form, I'll be needing certain table ready with me. So, as you can see on the extreme left side of my menu, I have this navigation pane in which I have different tables. I can select any random table and create a form for the same. So this time let's select this orders December table. I'll select the table. No need to open this table. I will simply move to the create tab and under the form groups I will select form. The moment I click on form you can see all the field list from the orders December table. Let me open the order December table so that you can get a better understanding. I will dub simply double click on this. Now as you can see all the product types, product name, sales unit and rest of the field can be seen out here. Similarly, the same field can be reflected out here as well, right? So this is my form view. Now, if you wish to add certain uh, more uh, fields to this, I can simply go to the design tab and under the design tab, under the tools group, I will click on add existing field. Now, as I have all the desired field list from my order December table, uh, I need not need to add any, but let's say that I want to pull data from a different table, right? So as you can see on the bottom of my screen, I have different tables out here. I will just minimize this. So I have all this table and if I wish to add any of this field from this table to my form, I will simply double click on it. Uh, I need not need to add any of these fields in my table. So I am not doing anything. I am not selecting any of the field. I'll just simply close it. This is just for your understanding. If you wish to add, you can select from this these table. So let's move on. I'll close this particular field list. Now I have my table ready. Now if you can see in this particular database, I can use form view for the better understanding and for better input of my data, right? So as you can see, I can simply type the database and I can enter the data in my data sheet view with the help of this form. All right. Now there are different concepts or the different controls which I can assign in this form view. If I simply go to the design tab and under the controls group, you can see I can add a combo box. Now what is a combo box? A combo box will help me to select a value. Now as we in, uh, enter the data manually, combo box will help me to create a drop down menu and from that drop down menu, I can select a type of the uh, menu, whatever I feel like. So. Let me show you this uh, order December table. Now in this table, you can see there are different types of product out here. I have cakes, cookies, and I have cupcake, pastry. If I go to the categories tab, you can get a better clarity. In category tabs, I have these five categories that is cookies, cakes, cups, pies, and pastries, right? So what I'm doing out here, I will create a drop down menu for all these different categories. All right, so how I create that, it's quite simple. I'll simply move to the design tab and under that I will select the combo box. So I'll select this particular, I want to place this combo box here. I say I want the combo box to get the values from another table or query. Let's say that if I have a list of options which are ready with me, I want to pull those options. I will select this radio check button, but now I want to create my own drop down menu. So I will type, I will type the value which I want. So I'll select this particular checkbox and I'll simply hit on next. The moment it is, uh, I click on next, it is asking me what are the things which I want. So let's say that I want it for the product types. I have cakes. After I type cakes, I will just hit tab Then I have pastries, right? 
pastries i have cookies i have pies and we have cupcakes right so i guess we have covered all the type of product types perfect now the next thing is i have done the responses i have given my responses i simply hit on the next now what it is saying remember the value for later use but i want to store this value in which field i want to store this value in product type so that this value get added in the product type field all right so i have selected this one i hit next now it is asking me what you would like to name it i say the product type i will type this as product type so that i can get an understanding what i'm trying to do out here so i say product types so it will be named as product types out here and i simply click on finish so now i have this category that is product types and i have this drop down menu now in order to test this let's see how it is tested now in order to test this form i just simply go to the form view so i'll click on form view now i have my product type if i go to this drop down menu now as you can see i have all the list of entries that i have made and i can simply click on it rather typing it again and again now i don't need this particular feature Feature. so i'll just simply select this all right uh, i'll move to the layout view and i'll select this and i will completely delete the entire row which i do not need because i have already create a product type drop down menu i'll click on the form view now i have the form view right and i can select any value from here which i want to right so in this way i can create a form in microsoft access 2016